This is Mr. Summers discussing reptile characteristics. This is for fourth grade. Um, this will help you know everything you need to know about reptiles for any quiz or test coming up. It'll also um, just part of a series on vertebrates and uh, also help you with everything you need to know about your reptile characteristic assignment, which is due on Edmodo. So, reptiles. Reptiles is our second vertebrate group that we're studying. Um, Reptiles have five characteristics in common. Like we said, number one, they are all vertebrates. As we remember from the previous lesson, a vertebrate is an animal that has a backbone. They all have a backbone. Number two, they are cold-blooded. Three, they have scales. Four, they breathe through lungs. And five, they lay eggs. Now we'll go in a little bit more detail one by one. But these, again, are the five characteristics that they all have in common that you will need to know to complete your reptile characteristic assignment. Let's go through them one by one. All reptiles are vertebrates. That means that they have a backbone. So, contrary to belief, snakes do have a backbone. I know some of you probably think, well, wait a minute, how can a snake do that and bend the way it can? Well, they can do that. They can bend. They can stretch. This is a Mojave Desert signed winder. Even though it can make this S-like shape, it does have a backbone. So, if you, what it does have in common with the other vertebrate groups has a backbone. Just like mammals, just like fish, just like birds, just like amphibians, they all have a backbone. Even if they can bend in funny ways. They are all cold-blooded. That means that the temperature changes with their environment. Um, we talked about in the previous lesson about mammals, that mammals had a constant body temperature, which meant that if it were 100 degrees outside, their body temperature stayed the same. So if it's 100 degrees outside, your body still stays 98.6. Well, reptiles don't work that way. Their body temperature changes with the environment. So... If it's 100 degrees outside, the reptile's body temperature is 100. If it's 20 degrees outside, the reptile's temperature is 20. Okay? So that's why you don't see many frogs in Antarctica. They probably all freeze to death. Okay? This is an interesting fact that temperature can affect the speed of a reptile. The warmer a reptile is, the faster it goes, and the colder a reptile is, the slower it goes. Now, why is that? Well, the warmer it is, the blood pumps a little faster, gives it a little bit more energy, and that makes it go faster. If it's colder, the blood's going to be a little bit slower, and that's what gives that uh, reptile a slower speed. Number three, reptiles have scales. Whereas mammals had hair or fur, reptiles do have scales, and they use these scales to absorb heat, and they later take that heat and use it to stay warm when they're in cold water. They can also use it for protection. If you look at the crocodile here, you probably have seen them sitting out maybe on a beach or on the edge of a lake. They're collecting heat from the sun. That way, whenever they go into the water, they're not going to freeze because the water, like we said, they're cold-blooded. The water could be cold. They would then adapt to that cold water. Body temperature would change. They don't want to freeze. So they're going to keep that stored heat and kind of keep them warm for a little bit longer. Also, reptiles use it for protection. Um, turtles, uh, crocodiles, alligators, they got that hard scaly skin there so if anything comes and attacks them they have to get through that little layer of armor before they can get to any piece of them. Number four, Reptiles breathe through lungs. This is something they also have in common with mammals. Mammals have lungs. You have lungs. Um, reptiles can't breathe underwater. So even though the alligators and crocodiles go underwater, they can't live underwater. Uh, they don't have gills. They can't convert water into oxygen. They have lungs and they convert air into oxygen. So they, they have to come up for air, even though they go in water. Number five, they all lay eggs. Mammals don't do that. We talked about mammals being placental, giving live birth and nursing. They um, 
could also have pouches, which are marsupials, and then our monotremes that lay eggs. That's rare, so we're not counting that. But all reptiles lay eggs. Um, this is what they have in common with amphibians and fish, because they're the same way. They all lay eggs. The egg shells are strong for protection, and they're rubbery, as you can see on the outside. That keeps it safe from um, predators, but it, yet it's soft and rubbery on the inside, so that the baby reptile can actually hatch from the shell. There are different types of reptiles. You can find your different turtles, um, tortoises and such. You have your crocodilian family with alligators and crocodiles. You have different types of snakes um, and different types of lizards, chameleons um, and such. Some fun reptile facts. Um, colorful scales can be a warning to other animals that it is poisonous. So most of the time you can kind of remember this. If it's bright and shiny and red, if you're if it's red, you're dead. It's poisonous. So be careful around bright, shiny colors. Poison. Warning, warning, warning. Poison. Remember that. Bright colors. Camouflage. Used for protection. That is a structural adaptation. We'll talk about more in another lesson. But a structural adaptation is something on an animal's body that protects it. And reptiles have camouflage, like chameleons. Reptiles can shed their skins. We all know snakes shed their skin. Um, another fun fact, the number of beads on the rattle of a snake, of a rattlesnake, show the number of times that it shed its skin. What do reptiles eat? Well, you've got some that are carnivores and some that are herbivores. Your carnivorous reptiles which are your meat eaters, those are your crocodiles and alligators, you can tell by looking at their mouths here. Look at their teeth. They're sharp. Look how their jaws are. They're not flat. They've got sharp enough teeth that they can tear through meat. If you've got sharp teeth, that's usually the dead giveaway of what they eat. So check out the teeth first. Herbivores, which are your plant eaters that don't eat meat, those are your turtles and tortoises, and you can look, compare their mouths to the crocodile alligator. They've got flat teeth. They're more for grinding, not for tearing, chewing grass or cud or something like that. So that's why they're herbivores. Predator versus prey. Well, reptiles do diff use different ways to find food. Snakes feel the movement of the ground to see what's around them. So if a snake is on the ground and it's kind of wiggling, something's walking, it can feel the vibrations in the ground. You can tell something's coming. Also, kind of, if you've ever seen the snake stick out its tongue, go. <laughs> you can. It's smelling and tasting the air with its tongue, um, so it can kind of also tell what's around. It's kind of neat. Some snakes are poisonous, like we said, and have venom. Bright colors gives you away. Those are your venomous snakes. Um, and then your other snakes are. They use choking and suffocate them. Those are your constrictors. Or, you know, the most famous one is the boa constrictor. So, you know, it's a, more of a choker, not a poisonous one. Uh, the boa is 16 feet long, can weigh about 30 pounds. And some alligators search for prey that's already dead. Those are scavengers. So anything that's looking for dead animals to eat, dead food, roadkill even, that's a scavenger. So finally, you can use this and. The next lesson to compare reptiles and amphibians, I want you to take it a moment to think about what you learned about the characteristics of reptiles and remember that for later so we compare them to amphibians. But remember again, there are five characteristics that you needed to know. Number one, reptiles are vertebrates. Number two, reptiles are cold-blooded. Number three, reptiles have scales. Number four, reptiles have lungs. Number five, reptiles lay eggs. This has been a quick lesson over reptiles or reptile characteristics. Be on the lookout for your next lesson over amphibian characteristics. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me on Edmodo.